That's seven and two. Brentwood in the blue getting ready for a tall order. They're hosting five and three. Lancaster McAuliffe in the white. This is a week 10 playoff play-in game in the sunshine. Opening drive of the game, Brentwood's Eli Stern rolls out and hangs up a rainbow deep downfield. On the other end is his favorite receiver. That's Harry Schwartz with the grab for the 36-yard pickup down to the McAuliffe 35. Next play, the give is to Xander Carlson, and Xander finds daylight. Right up the gut, and he's going to outrun every guy in a white shirt. 90 seconds into the game, it's 7-0 home team on the 36-yard thunderbolt from Carlson. Later, McAuliffe with the ball at the Brentwood 47, looking downfield. Problem is, the guy with the ball is wearing the other colored jersey. That's Brentwood defender William Toby with the interception to kill the McAuliffe threat. But Brentwood cannot capitalize. On their first play thereafter, McAuliffe with pressure and there's problems on the transfer. The ball's on the ground and white shirts are on it. Purnell Barnes pounces on the pigskin for McAuliffe at the Brentwood 30. It's 7-0 home team after the opening 12 minutes. Second quarter, Brentwood with the ball now and Stern is flushed from the pocket by the pass rush. Eli off balance, heaves it to the end zone and Carlson is there for the grab. Xander first by ground and now by air and Brentwood doubles their advantage on the 21-yard strike from Stern to Carlson. It's 14-0 blue shirts. Going the other way, McAuliffe on the move, facing a fourth and 10 at the Brentwood 35. It's Harvest Tua on the QB keeper. Tua has to get to the second stick, but he gets run out of bounds a yard short. And Brentwood, with some tough D, takes over on downs, wiping out McAuliffe's deepest movement yet. And Brentwood takes advantage. Stern at his own 46. Airs it out for Austin Bleibtroy. Austin makes a great grab with a guy all over him. It's a 26-yard pickup to the McAuliffe 28. But Brentwood gives it back here from the 8. They stay on the ground, but McAuliffe forces a fumble and jumps on the rock at their own 6. This kills the Brentwood threat and keeps McAuliffe in the game. It stays 14-0 Brentwood to the half. Same score early fourth quarter. Keep your eyes on 11 in blue. That's Harry Schwartz. He has a step on his man, and Stern sees it early. Eli drops the rainbow right in Harry's kitchen, and the result is a 27-yard pickup into the red zone. Brentwood with a first and 10 at the McAuliffe 13. And that leads to this. The drive stalls at the 7, and Brentwood calls on Kimball Winans to step up and boot through the 24-yard field goal. The guys in the striped shirts say it's good. And the scoreboard says Brentwood has a 17-0 lead with 10 minutes left in the ball game. But not for long. From their own 35, McAuliffe strikes. Phillip Taylor streaks through scrimmage, and then he turns on the burners. Phillip's going to outrun every guy in a blue shirt on the way to a 65-yard touchdown for McAuliffe. The visitors are right back in the game at 17-6. I say six because McAuliffe goes for the deuce. In spread formation, Tua rolls to his right and looks for a friendly. It's probably a designed run, and Tua follows his beef up front and tiptoes inside the pylon. The officials say he's in, and the scoreboard now says Brentwood only leads 17-8 with eight minutes left in the contest. McAuliffe gets it back and has a chance to get closer. From the 10, Tua looking to the end zone, but he gets picked off by Brentwood's Henry Siegel at the goal line. Siegel has a modest return, but most important for Brentwood, they kill the McAuliffe threat, and that's going to just about wrap it up. Here's a quarterback's favorite play, victory formation, as Stern takes a knee to run out the final ticks of a hard-fought victory. The clock finally shows zeros, and Brentwood toughs out a win they absolutely positively had to have if they want to continue playing football this season. 17-8 your final score, McAuliffe goes home, and Brentwood moves on. We have to have a really intense week of practice. We have to come out with um, with the mindset that you know we we lose, we go home, and none of none of us want to stop playing together. So it's a whole new found intensity. In Los Angeles, I'm Jake Downey reporting for Cox High School Sports on Demand, powered by Max Preps.